Disturbed is an American heavy metal band from Chicago, Illinois. The band's members are vocalist David Draymon, guitarist Dan Donegan, bassist John Moyer, and drummer Mike Wengren. Former band members were vocalist Erica Walt and bassist Steve Fusk Mack. Formed in 1994 as Brawl, the band was renamed Disturbed in 1996 after Draymon was hired as the band's new vocalist. Between the band's formation and 2008, they sold over 13 million albums worldwide, making them one of the largest grossing metal rock bands in recent years. The band has released five studio albums, four of which have consecutively debuted at number one on the Billboard 200. The band went into an indefinite hiatus in October 2011 and the band's members are currently working on various side projects. The band members insist that they will regroup as Disturbed again sometime in the future. History, Early Years as Brawl, before vocalist David Draymond joined Disturbed, they were known as Brawl. Brawl's lineup consisted of vocalist Erica Walt, guitarist Dan Donegan, drummer Mike Wengren, and bassist Steve Fusk Mack. Before changing their name to Brawl, however, Donegan mentioned in the band's DVD, Decade of Disturbed, that the name was originally going to be Crawl. They switched it to Brawl, due to the name already being used by another band. A Walt left the band shortly after the recording of a demo tape. The other three members advertised for a singer. They posted an advertisement in the local music publication in Chicago, Illinois, called the Illinois Entertainer. Draymond answered the advertisement after going to 20 other auditions that month. Guitarist Dan Donegan commented on Draymond, You know, out of all the singers that we had talked to or auditioned, he, Draymond was the only singer who was ready to go with originals. And that impressed me, just to attempt that. With regard to Draymond being the new singer for the band, Donegan said, After a minute or two, he just starts banging out these melodies that were huge. I'm playing my guitar and I'm grinning from ear to ear, trying not to give it away that I like this guy, you know, because I don't want to, you know. Say yeah, we'll give you a call back. We'll, you know, discuss it. But I was so psyched. Chill up my spine. I'm like, there is something here. As drummer Mike Wengren commented, we clicked right off the bat. Draymond then joined the band in 1996 and the band was renamed Disturbed. When asked in an interview why he suggested to name the band Disturbed, Draymond said, It had been a name I have been contemplating for a band for years. It just seems to symbolize everything we were feeling at the time. The level of conformity that people are forced in was disturbing to us and we were just trying to push the envelope and the name just sort of made sense. The sickness, after renaming the band, Disturbed went on to record two three-track demo tapes, the first having the demos for the game, Down with the Sickness, and Meaning of Life, with the second having the demos for Want, Stupefy, and Drop-in Plates. The artwork was composed of the band's recently created mascot, The Guy. The band eventually signed with Giant Records. In 2000, the band released its debut album, titled The Sickness, which launched the band into stardom. The album peaked at number 29 on Billboard 200 and it has sold over 4 million copies in the United States since its release. Before joining Marilyn Manson's 2001 European tour, bassist Steve Kmack was unable to play with the band due to a shattered ankle, caused by falling out of a fire escape outside Disturbed's rehearsal hall in Chicago. He took the fire escape to exit the building while the elevator was being used to move their equipment downstairs. Kmack skipped the European trek of the tour, but he did perform with the band on January 11 and 12, 2001 at Disturbed's show in Chicago. During the European tour, Marty O'Brien replaced Kmack until he was able to tour again. Relieve, in February 2001, it was announced that the band had covered the song Midlife Crisis for a Faith No More tribute album, however the cover was not used, and would later make an appearance on the compilation album, The Lost Children. In September 2001, production of their second studio album began. On June 4, 2002, Disturbed released a documentary DVD about the band, titled M.O.L., which showed some of the band's more personal moments in the studio and during tours, as well as featuring several music videos and live performances. 
On September 17, 2002, Disturbed released their second studio album, titled Believe, which debuted at number one on the Billboard 200. The music video for the first single from the album, titled Prayer, was pulled from most television stations, due to the similarities it had with the September 11, 2001 attacks. David Drayman recorded vocals for a song titled Forsaken, a song written and produced by Jonathan Davis of the band Korn, released on Queen of the Damned. In 2003, the band once again participated in the Uzzis tour and started another one of their own tours, titled Music as a Weapon 2. The bands Chevel, Taproot, and Unloco toured with them. During the tour, Disturbed debuted an unreleased song, titled Dehumanized. After Disturbed finished the Music as a Weapon 2 tour, Steve Kmack was fired by the band because of personality differences. He was replaced by John Moyer, who is now the current bass player. On the night Moyer became the band's new bass player, Disturbed played Live at the House of Blues and performed two new songs, Hell, and Monster, both of which are B-side tracks on the band's third studio album, Ten Thousand Fists. Ten Thousand Fists, Disturbed's third studio album, Ten Thousand Fists, was released on September 20, 2005. The album debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, while also selling around 238,000 copies in the week following its release. The album was certified platinum, shipping one million units, in the United States on January 5, 2006. The band toured with 10 years and only a plus or minus O in support of the album. Disturbed headlined Ozzy's 2006 along with Ozzy Osbourne, System of a Down, Lacuna Coil, Dragon Force, Avenged Sevenfold, and Hate Breed. In an interview with Launch Radio Networks, Disturbed vocalist David Draymond stated that 20 songs were recorded for the album, but only 14 made it to the final track listing. The remaining songs included Hell which was included in one of the two stricken singles. Monster, which was included as an iTunes pre-order bonus for 10,000 Fists, then later included on the 10,000 Fists tour edition. Two Worlds, which was also included on the tour edition of 10,000 Fists. And Sickened, which was included in the Land of Confusion single. 10,000 Fists is the first album released by Disturbed to feature guitar solos. The band stated that they felt that guitar solos are a part of music that is absent in a lot of modern music, and they wanted to bring some of it back. Songs like Stricken, Overburdened, and Land of Confusion all feature guitar solos, as well as many others. In 2006, a European tour was scheduled but had been moved twice due to Draymond having troubles with severe acid reflux, which affected his voice. Draymond commented, I had been taking Facet for about four years and my body built up a resistance to it, to the point where it wasn't doing anything anymore. I had a night of drinking in London followed by a full day and night of drinking on a day off in Dublin, because what else is there to do in Ireland but drink? That, coupled with a show where I had monitor problems, and I pretty much trashed my voice. Later that year, Draymond underwent surgery for a deviated septum which affected his voice. It was successful, and ever since then, Draymond has limited his drinking on the road. Draymond became involved in the peer-to-peer -peer file sharing controversy by publicly speaking out against the RIAA's lawsuits against file sharing individuals, despite the fact his record label is a member of the RIAA. Draymond commented, This is not rocket science. Instead of spending all this money litigating against kids who are the people they're trying to sell things to in the first place, they have to learn how to effectively use the internet. For the artists, my ass. I didn't ask them to protect me, and I don't want their protection. Draymond also told Narok, I'm, very positive about the internet, Napster. I think it's a tremendous tool for reaching many more people than we ever could without it. When you release music you want it to be heard by people. Nothing is going to do that better than Napster. I can't tell you how many kids have come up to me and said, I downloaded a couple of tunes off Napster and I went out and bought the album. I don't really make money off of record sales anyway. In late 2006, Disturbed headlined another one of their own tours named Music as a Weapon 3. The bands Flyleaf, Stone Sour, and Nonpoint toured with them. 
Disturbed completed the first leg of their Music as a Weapon 3 tour in late 2006. Soon after, Draymond stated that there was not going to be a second leg to the tour and that instead the band was going off the road to start working on their fourth studio album, Indestructible. In July 2007, a new track titled This Moment was released on the soundtrack to the film Transformers. Disturbed mixed their fourth studio album, titled Indestructible, in Los Angeles in late 2007. In an earlier interview, David Draymond said that they were going to record 15 songs, but only 12 would be on the album. On March 6, 2008, the band released a 30-second sample of a newly re-recorded version of the song Perfect Insanity on their MySpace profile. In March 2008, the song was made available for full download on the band's website, which led to the song receiving some minor radio airplay and the band playing at Live in Kuwait during a special Operation MySpace event. Indestructible's first single, Inside the Fire was made available on digital distribution services for purchase on March 25, 2008. The band also toured in the United States in April and May 2008 with the band's Five Finger Death Punch and Art of Dying. The music video for Inside the Fire was released on May 2, 2008 on the band's official website. Disturbed released their previously free song Perfect Insanity on iTunes Store as a second single on May 6, 2008, and the album Indestructible become available for pre-order for the release date on June 3, 2008. On May 13, 2008, Harmonix, the developers of the video game Rock Band announced they had reached a deal with Disturbed and Best Buy to offer two tracks from Indestructible for play in Rock Band to those who pre-ordered the album from Best Buy's website. On June 3, 2008, Harmonix released three tracks from Indestructible. Indestructible, Inside the Fire, and Perfect Insanity. On May 12, 2009, Harmonix released Stricken and Stupefy to the rock band Music Store. Disturbed played their first live online concert on May 29, 2008. The concert was sponsored by Pepsi and Deep Rock Drive. They performed in Las Vegas. Indestructible was released in the United States on June 3, 2008 and in Australia on June 7, 2008 and became the band's third consecutive number one debut on the Billboard 200. A special internet-only limited edition of the album that includes the B-side track run, a making of DVD with instructional videos, wraparound poster, VIP laminate, access to special disturbed events, and a special website with exclusive video. Rare Audio and more was also released. The band toured in support of the Mayhem Festival alongside Slipknot, Dragon Force and Mastodon during summer of 2008. Disturbed also completed a tour of Australia and New Zealand through August and September 2008. On September 30, 2008, the band released an iTunes exclusive live album entitled Live and Indestructible, made up of songs from Deep Rock Drive as well as the music video for Indestructible. The band started a tour of Europe, starting in London during October 2008 and finishing during November 2008 in Helsinki. In November and December 2008, Disturbed toured in the United States. The song Inside the Fire was nominated for a 2009 Grammy Award in the Best Hard Rock Performance category. In March 2009, Disturbed released a music video for the single The Night. The band began their music as a weapon for tour in March 2009 and it ended in late May. The tour, also dubbed a festival, featured the band's Kill Switch Engage, Lacuna Coil, and Chimera on the main stage. The band released a second cover version of Faith No More's song Midlife Crisis on the album covered, A Revolution in Sound, which also included bands such as Mastodon, The Used, and Avenged Sevenfold. This cover of Midlife Crisis was originally recorded for Indestructible, but the band decided not to include it on the album. Asylum, in an earlier interview, David Draymond briefly talked about the band's fifth studio album, stating that the album will be as dark as their previous album, Indestructible, if not darker. Draymond also stated that the album is still identifiably disturbed, but showing more maturation. Songwriting for the fifth studio album began in late 2009. In an earlier interview with Mike Wengren and John Moyer, it was stated that, 
judging by Draymond's feelings on last few years of his life, that Disturbed's new album will be aggressive, angry, and hard-hitting, but will be similar musically to their album Believe. Wengren also said that the new album may be released in the spring or summer of 2010. Additionally, Draymond has confirmed that a DVD is in the works. A countdown clock appeared on the band's website, which ended on January 12, 2010 at 5 o'clock p.m. EST, and a trailer for the upcoming DVD, titled Decade of Disturbed, was revealed. In an interview in July 2009, with Face Culture, a Draymond stated that the upcoming DVD will be chronicling the past decade of Disturbed's existence. It's meant to show our growth over the course of the decade. He also talked more about the upcoming fifth album, a couple of song riffs that Danny has come up with are really amazing. But they're just little pieces. It's not even in two three-part progression, yet. A few months later on March 23, 2010, the band released a reissue of their debut album, The Sickness, with the B-side tracks God of the Mind, and a welcome burden, updated artwork, as well as remastering and remixing the track list. It was also available for the first time in vinyl format. On February 26, 2010, Harmonix announced a second Disturbed pack for download on the rock band Music Store, containing the 2010 remastered versions of Voices, The Game, and Meaning of Life. On February 8, 2010, it was announced that the band had entered the studio in Chicago, Illinois to begin recording their fifth album, tentatively set for a summer 2010 release. Guitarist Dan Donegan stated that the band had written around 15 a Euro 18 songs. It was later confirmed that the title of the album is Asylum. The band released a cover of heavy metal band Judas Priest's song Living After Midnight for the Metal Hammer Presents. Tribute to British Steel Album On April 20, 2010, roughly two months after they entered the studio, Disturbed announced that they had finished recording the album, and were ready to begin mixing it in Los Angeles, California. As they did with their last album Indestructible, Disturbed stated that they self-produced Asylum. The band announced that Asylum would be released on August 31, 2010. On July 9, 2010, the track listing was revealed on the band's official website. Asylum debuted at number one on the Billboard 200. Disturbed headlined the first annual Rockstar Energy Drink Uproar tour with Avenged Sevenfold, as well as Stone Sour, Helly and Hallistorm, among others in late summer 2010. Then, in October 2010, it was reported that David Draymond was diagnosed with a serious throat condition, and the band's U.S. tour had been cancelled, as Draymond's healing process could have taken up to four weeks. Around the end of that year, Disturbed had announced that they would be commencing the music as a weapon V-Tour in 2011, co-headlining with Korn and Guest Seven Dust, In This Moment and Stillwell. In January 2011 it was announced that Disturbed would be headlining the Mayhem Festival, along with Godsink and Megadeth, for the summer of 2011. February 2011, it was announced that Disturbed would be playing the Download Festival. Disturbed announced that in May 2011, they will be co-headlining the Rock on the Range Festival in Columbus, Ohio. The band was added to the 2011 MTV Musical March Madness Tournament. Defeating former champions Coheed and Cambria, they advanced to the Final Four but lost to the eventual champions Green Day by a 0.34 margin. On Thursday, April 28, Disturbed announced that their previously unreleased bonus track from Asylum, titled 3, would be available for download on their website. They said that all proceeds made from the download of the song would go towards the Damien Eccles Defense Fund, a benefit foundation supporting the release of the West Memphis 3. The Lost Children and Hiatus, in July 2011, the band confirmed it would go on hiatus after finishing their U.S. tour that year, and in an interview that same month, Draymond dismissed concerns that the upcoming hiatus was a result of conflict between the band members, saying, This is really not due to any animosity. I want to make that very clear. In fact, we just had dinner together last night. Believe me, it's not like we can't work with each other anymore or we don't get along. This isn't a bad blood thing, and I don't ever want people to get that impression of it. Disturbed went into hiatus in October 2011. 
Disturbed released a B-side compilation album, titled The Lost Children, on November 8, 2011. The song Hell was made available for digital download on October 11, 2011, but Draymond stated on his Twitter page that there would not be a music video for it. A previously unreleased track, titled Mine, also appears on the album. The track listing and release date were revealed on Draymond's Twitter page on September 20. On February 8, 2012, it was announced that John Moyer is heavy metal supergroup Adrenaline Mob's new bass player. John made his onstage debut with the group on March 12, at New York City a Euro unregistered trademark S Hero Ballroom, a day before the release of the band's debut full-length album, Omita. On February 14, 2012, on his Twitter account David Draymond has confirmed that he will make an appearance on VH1's That Metal Show 10th season airing sometime this year. That episode was later moved to the 11th season and premiered on August 11, 2012. On April 21, 2012, to commemorate Record Store Day, Disturbed released the collection. It is a box set featuring the band's five full-length studio albums in 140-gram vinyl LPs. In May 2012 Draymond announced his new project, an industrial metal band called Device. Draymond has released information regarding the future of Disturbed and his new project Device. He has stated that Device will release their self-titled debut album on April 9, 2013. The album will feature many guest musicians from various metal bands. Donegan, guitarist for Disturbed also stated to a journalist for MTV that the future for Disturbed was unclear. I don't have a clear answer, about the band's future, because I'm not sure where everybody's heads at at the moment other than we're having a great time out on tour, we're going out big, we're carrying big production, we want to end this on a big note, he said. I think we're not ready to sit down and have the discussions of when we want to get back together or if we're gonna. So we're kind of winging it. On April 25, 2013, it was announced that guitarist Dan Donegan and drummer Mike Wengren had begun a new project with Evans blues singer Dan Chandler, Fight or Flight. Their debut album, Life by Design, was released on July 23, 2013. Regarding the future of Disturbed, Donegan wrote, No this does not mean the end of Disturbed. As David has also made that clear. We love you the fans that have given us this life and the outlet to express ourselves for many years now. This has just become another extension of us. I get it, I understand why some of you may be mad that we are all doing other things right now but let me assure you that all of us are looking forward to the day we return as Disturbed to show you how much you mean to us. Mascot, Disturbed's mascot, named the guy, was originally just a drawing of a face with a large grin as seen on the back of the album The Sickness. The original drawing of the guy was then edited using a digital distorting program. After the original image had been distorted three times the guy became the official mascot for the band. Later, he would be drawn as a full figure by artist David Finch. Style and lyrical themes, classified as a heavy metal, or hard rock band, Disturbed is also regarded by some critics as new metal, and alternative metal. When asked about diehard heavy metal fans not finding Disturbed heavy enough, Draymond at one time stated, We probably have too much melody going on or we're not quite as turbulent or caustic. While I really love that type of music, it's not what we try to do. If we have to place things in context, we're more hard rock than heavy metal these days. The secret is that we were never really part of any particular trend, although we definitely benefited from the popularity of what was called new metal at the Tamir. We never had the stereotypical attributes that those bands had. We don't need a Euro unregistered trademark T-Rap. Theory a Euro unregistered trademark S no turntable involved. No fusion in that respect. We play, in my opinion, classic metal. Sabbath, Maiden, Priest, Metallica, Pantera. These are the bands that made us want to play. Olmasic reviewer Bradley Torino described the album Believe as taking the sort of jump that their heroes in Sanjadan and Pantera made after their respective breakthrough records. 
He also described the title track as moving from a brutal chug to a sweeping chorus that suddenly stops in its tracks and turns into a winding riff that recalls the work of vintage James Hitfield. Believe is also considered by several critics to be a step away from the new metal sound featured on The Sickness, moving towards a more hard rock heavy metal sound that was continued in their following albums. According to frontman David Draymon on the band home documentary MOL, the lyrics that he writes are inspired by life experience, perception, and actual experiences of his own, and he stated that he likes to present his ideas with cryptic lyrics. These lyrical themes range from the Judeo-Christian ideology of heaven and hell, domestic abuse, suicide, relationships, war, to more fantasy-like themes, such as vampirism and demons. Guitarist Dan Donegon typically uses tunings such as drop C and drop C, which are lower tunings than regular E standard. These lower tunings allow for a heavier sound and quicker chord changes in Donegan's riffs. Donegon also uses subtle electronic effects, which the rest of the band refers to as the Danny Donegan Orchestra. Band Members, Timeline Discography Studio Albums, The Sickness, Relieve, Ten Thousand Fists Indestructible, Asylum, References External links, Official Website